Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today we are um, <clears throat> investigating uh, the Friday challenge and uh, had a great submission by Don. Uh, this was uh, something I wasn't quite aware of and uh, he opened my eyes to it. So thanks very much, Don. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. So on Friday, I showed you how to do a, uh, a manual step chart. And if you take a look at it, uh, it doesn't seem too difficult to do. And what you end up doing is you replicate some data points uh, so that this data point has the previous value as well as the next value. And I did that manually, and uh, Don showed me a great, easy manual technique that you can do. So let's go ahead and recreate that. So here's what you want to do. You want to take your data range, highlight it, you want to copy it, so I'm just going to do Control C and Control V to paste. Now we have our data range. Now what you want to do is you want to delete um, and shift some of the data just a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to delete this cell and you want to delete this cell. And by doing so, it will shift the data and align it such that your step chart is already going to be made. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to right click on here, hit delete, and we're going to shift the cells up. And then once again, I'm going to right click here and hit delete and shift the cells up. And let's go ahead and insert the uh, line chart by highlighting our data range, going up to the line chart, inserting it. And uh, lo and behold, our step chart is done. Two easy steps, really easy way to go. I wanted to say thank you very much, Don. Uh, and let me back out and undo those and we'll just look at why this works so well. Um, so what we're doing is we're deleting this first date, and so we are thus making 2, 4, 19, 80 have a rate of 4, and then we're going to delete the last value of the last day, so this was the 1991, and what that's going to do is that's going to shift up um, the uh, uh, value of 4 uh, to match back again to the original data. So this ends up being the original data then, and uh, we shift and create a new data set up above. Uh, so let's just go ahead and redo that. And we're just deleting and moving those up once you create your line chart. Um, you don't even really need to sort the days. Now, um, with my original data set, uh, what we had is we had just years. So in that case, you would probably have to sort them because uh, Excel doesn't look at those as unique dates. So you'll notice that even though 1980 is down here and there's a 1980 up here, it still plots those correctly be even though they're not in sorted order. You could sort them and still do the same effect, but uh, there's really no need since Excel is going to go ahead and take care of that for you. All right, once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please come back tomorrow for some other uh, ways that you can solve uh, this step chart without a manual process, but I want to thank Don. That just makes it so easy to create a, a manual step chart with a couple clicks and copy-paste, and you're done. Tomorrow we'll do some formulas showing how we can just create this with formulas uh, looking up your original data. Once again, this is Steve Equals True from Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please sign up for my video channel and subscribe, and also uh, tell a friend. Thank you so much.